So as you can see, I'm in a rather large vehicle this week, um, and it is a 2015 Ram 1500 Sport. So basically with the Sport, that means you get a kind of monochromed exterior. It's got the hood scoops in the front. It has a dual exhaust in the back, which is a little bit louder than the norm. You can't really hear it from the inside when the windows are closed. When the windows are open and you give it a good kick, you can hear it. Of course, because this has the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, uh, which gives you 395 horsepower and 410 pound foot of torque. Doesn't sound like a lot, and this is a pretty heavy vehicle, but it does get going when you want it to. It has an eight speed transmission, which means it actually does pretty well. Um, the nicest thing about this truck, seriously, hands down, best part about it is the air suspension. It's self-leveling. When you're on the highway like I am right now, there's actually something right here in my dash, it says aero, and it'll tell you that it's going into aerodynamic mode. So it lowers just a little bit, so the truck becomes a little bit more ha-ha aerodynamic for better fuel economy. With the Ram 1500 Sport, you get the front and rear stabilizer bars, so it's a little bit better for off-roading. Plus, you actually have down here, there's four suspension settings. So the suspension can rise by, I think it's about eight inches higher than it is right now, and it's already really high. I mean, for somebody like me, and here's one of my gripes about this truck, and you know, not everybody likes them, but there's no side steps here. So getting in and out is really difficult for somebody like me, who's possibly a little bit shorter than the norm, but still average, I'd really prefer like a step ladder to get in here because if not, I'm scrambling up the side and hoping that I can reach this handle here, which isn't always the case if it's high enough up. It's a spectacle and I'm hoping that nobody saw it during the week. There's also an entry and exit level, which I love. Um, so I can pop it all the way down. It looks actually really nice. It kind of looks like it's bagged. It won't drive at that level. Once you start moving, it'll raise to normal height. That is really just for getting in and out. And it does make a big difference. It's quite nice. I appreciate it. But that's not what you care about when you have a pickup. And if you're my height and you have a pickup, then you deal with it. And so what you care about in a truck like this is its capabilities. Now, this is a 1500, so it's the baby of the Ram family, but still it has, you know, over 9,000 pounds towing capability, thir over 1,300 pound payload, so this truck can work. Interior-wise, this thing's got a ton of space. I got the full cab, so four doors, and a full back seat. Of course, my son had a ridiculous amount of space back there. In terms of looks, you know, this 1500 Sport, spot on. I'm not a huge fan of pickups. I like them. You know, they're built to do a job. They do it. And I honestly thought that my favorite was the Blue Oval. But when you back this guy up against the Blue Oval edition of the pickup, and I know you know who I'm talking about, this one actually does better. And really, it has to do with the air suspension. I took a pretty heavy duty bumpy country road this weekend, and I kind of went all out. I wanted to see what it could do. And the suspension, you can almost feel it learning and adapting to the surface that it's on. It really, really does work well, and it's comfortable. It makes the ride easy. You know, I'm going over some pretty uneven surfaces right now, and in any other pickup, you get kind of a bed shake, and the chassis might vibrate a little bit, and you might kind of feel like a bobblehead. But in this one, it's kind of like I'm floating, but not in a bad way. I'm not disconnected. I'm comfortable. And for anybody that hates that feel in a pickup of that constant like shaking and, and you know body panels moving, this vehicle fixes it. I mean, the Ram's air suspension really makes a huge difference. Now, of course, it doesn't make it drive entirely like a car. This is a big vehicle. You know, I also took this downtown, and I was super excited when two cars left at the same time so that I could take both of their parking spaces. Gripe number three with this vehicle. For the price that it is, it does not feature a backup camera. Now, well, you know, you say if you drive a pickup, you should know how to park it. Well, you know what? I like to be able to see what's behind me and if the car is smaller than the bed of the truck and it disappears at a certain point and I can't see it, you know, there's a good chance I might accidentally hit it. Of course, there are parking sensors which you can turn on and off uh, in the front and the back and they do help, but for a vehicle this price, we're sitting around the $60,000 it's a lot of dollars to not feature a backup camera or a sidestep, just saying. So I, 
in all honesty, I don't have a lot of gripes about this vehicle. And as large as this engine is, you know, it's a Hemi, it's a V8, it's a 5.7 liter. I'm averaging 14.3 liters per 100 kilometers. And that's not bad. And you know what? Handling is really good for a pickup. It's not darty when the un uneven surfaces. I like this truck. I don't know that I would spend this much money on a truck like this. I think you're paying more for the aesthetics, but you know, people will pay for aesthetics. We know this, we've seen this.